Hello, my name is Linda Jo Martin, the book lady, and today I am doing the pull 10 books off the shelf and talk about them tag. And that is by Sean the Book Maniac, the originator of this tag. So I will start with the oldest book that I have in my pile of 10, and it is very old. It is from 1972. I bought this when it was first published. It is called Herbs and Things by Jean Rose. I was living in San Francisco at the time, and I bought this in one of the health food stores on 9th Avenue. And not too long after I purchased the book, I happened to see in a flyer from Heliotrope University that she was giving an herb class in her home and I took her class so I got to go to her home and see her room full of jars of herbs and her beautiful little herb garden in the backyard. So the second book is from the 1970s. I took class at Shasta College in Redding, California well, actually, I took a lot of classes there, but one of the classes was on identifying local plants, uh, natural plants out in the wild. And this is our textbook from way back when. It's called Keys to Identification of Wildflowers, Ferns, Trees, Shrubs, Woody Vines of Northern California. And I've kept it all these years because I love plant identification. The third book from my long distant past is called Angel Threads. It's about making baby clothes and they are made in a very creative way. Here's one of the illustrations from the back cover. I keep this book because I think the illustrations are just so pretty. Let me see if I can find you another one. Yes, I love this book. Such pretty baby clothes. So the next book is something that I bought when I was living in Happy Camp, but it actually is a history of San Francisco, and I bought it to do some novel research because one of my novels, unpublished novels, is set in San Francisco in 1856, and this book is full of interesting San Francisco history. I actually read it cover to cover. So the that's the fourth book. Okay, the fifth book from the Happy Camp days is Sasquatch. The Apes Among Us by John Green, and he is a very well-known writer of Bigfoot information. He's actually not with us anymore. He was a newsman in Canada and he started studying Sasquatch because he had found old articles in the newspaper and people were giving him a lot of information about Bigfoot, so he put it all in a book. Fascinating book. And then I have a book that's actually about Happy Camp that I bought when I was living there. It's called Between the Floods by Linda Willis. And she was living in Happy Camp between 1956 and 1965, and this is her memoir. In this book, she tells about how she and her husband built their house there. And I just recently noticed that that house is on sale. In case anyone wants this beautiful house, it is actually made from an old mobile home with an addition of a room and the garage has a room over it so she explains everything about how that house was built in this book between the floods the next one this one i bought while i was living here in idaho i bought this for the 2016 pop sugar reading challenge and i was to find a book that was based on a fairy tale, so I chose this one. 
It is called Sun and Moon, Ice and Snow by Jessica Day George. It's the only Jessica Day George book I've ever read. It's based on an old European fairy tale called East of the Sun and West of the Moon. Next one. Unger's Concise Bible Dictionary. Of course, I bought this one while I was in Idaho because I've only been a Christian while I was in Idaho. And I love this book because when I was in Bible studies, I could take this book and find out information about a lot of different things that we were reading in the Bible. Now, the Bible dictionary part of it is very incomplete. There's a lot of things that I looked for in there that weren't there. But the second part of the book is actually the spelling and phonetic spelling and pronunciation guide for every name in the Bible, which is very useful for people like me who like to pronounce everything correctly. I bought this one just about a year and a half ago. It is The Art of Whimsical Lettering by Joanne Sharp, and I love this book. I saw it on Amazon, and I wanted it so bad, but I couldn't afford it, and then I saw it at Michael's Craft Store, and I wanted it, but could not afford it. So, story of my life. But eventually I got it. And when I did, I looked up this lady artist on the web. Her name's Joanne Sharp. There's a picture of her in the back. Anyhow, Joanne has a very nice website. And she offers online classes that are very reasonably priced. So last year, I actually took a class from her and learned a lot about doing art the way that she does it. Her book is just full of beautiful, colorful, whimsical illustrations. I love this book. I love her art. And I loved learning from her. I might take another class from her, too, one of these days. Now, the most recent book that I've bought out of this pile of ten is Our Broken Family Court System. I actually bought this one to do research because I am very invested in this topic. I try to help give information, legal information, to people who are falsely accused in the family court system. And I've been doing that since the year 2000. And it's just, that's my thing, right? So I bought this book very recently. I haven't read it yet. And it's just for me to do some research. So maybe I can write some more articles on some of the topics, topics that are brought up within this book. So, that's it. Hopefully, I'll be able to put this video on the web very soon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm back already because I forgot to tag somebody, and I really do want to tag somebody, and it's going to be two somebodies. It's going to be Paul from Paul Reads and Trisha from Tell Her a Story. You both are tagged with the Pull 10 books off the shelf and talk about them. Tag. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye.